learn how to talk to people. And that was the first time when I realized I was like, wow, this was important. Yeah. I mean, shit, public speaking, yeah. you would not think yeah. that, you know, you're like, you get into the job as being the guy in the back. You would not ever think that public speaking would be important until you walk into your first pre-meal. Yeah. And you're standing in front of all these, you know, these servers that you know that are all staring at you. And the ability to portray what you want confidently is incomparable. It's a huge, huge thing that you need to have in your yeah. life. And as you know, and you, it's just something that you don't think of uh, that is valuable, you know, when you're getting into the industry. And that's just, you know, such a minute thing. Like you have to be able to talk to guests. You have to be able to talk to investors. Like you need to be able to talk to people that are going to make your restaurant go. And if, all you think you ha- have to do is be able to cook food delicious. Like, that's not what being a You're chef is about. You're fucking wrong, dog. Yeah, that's not what being a chef is about. Yeah. Like, oh, it's, dude, I I loved it, man. I I can't, I can't say enough how cool this industry is and what you can do uh, in it. Yeah, man. I mean, of what some of the coolest things that I've, you know, learned from you is like the relationship that you can have with certain farmers at the farmers market. That's yeah. Thursday market, you know, in Marin. It's like you know all those people. Yeah, I've been I've been going there every Thursday for four years. Now. Yeah, man. And it's yeah. like the fact that like, you know, you were gone this this past uh, couple weeks, and I I went, and it was like they would be like, "Hey, man, where's Charlie?" <laughs> like I don't want to fucking talk to you about the peppers, dude. Yeah. Where is the man? I'm calling him right now, <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, man, he's on vacation. Don't know, call, I'm don't, getting, don't call him." You I'm know? getting that phone call. I'm in the middle of the Utah yeah. desert, and they're and like, like, "Yeah, I don't give a fuck, dude. I'm calling this guy because I know that he knows what he's talking about." And I'm picking up. Yeah, and know? that that respect right there from those farmers at the at the farmers market is invaluable. That's cool, man. You know, because those are the people that grow the shit that we use. Yeah, you know, and there's no other person. Just as you said, if if like you fuck up the crop, that's it. Yeah. There's no other like, oh well, maybe we can make this work. Like, no, it's not perfect. <laughs> yeah, that that's special it. thing. It's gone. Yeah. You know. You were waiting until next yeah. year. Yeah. Talk about a rug pulled out from under you, man. Yeah. That's a lot of shit in this industry. Yeah. That just could go wrong like that, and that's it. Yeah. You know, you know not to mention all the crazy wrong in the industry that's happening right now, but that's, that's true. another. Yeah, that's another conversation. That's another someone. conversation for another time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, Charlie Apple, thank you very much for being on this podcast. Sure, it's I good hope, to shoot the shit. I hope you people found this inspiring. Yeah, and uh, just know that Charlie is on to some fucking crazy shit in the future. We're working on so, some stuff. Uh, yeah, so listen out to him. And uh, what's your Instagram, Charlie? Uh, that would be Charlie Apple. Just Spelled Charlie Apple. A P P E L. Not like the fruit. Not like the fruit. Just like John Coffee. Not like the coffee. <laughs> or just like the coffee. Right Never on. Mind. Well, appreciate it, Dave. Yeah, man. You're the man. And uh yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Signing off, baby. Later. Sucio talk. Charlie Apple.